one looking at Bax, who is right there, right there in the pound seats. Has he done it again? Etienne Bax has done it again. Round the outside goes Gert van Verven, but Etienne and Robbie Bax take the lead again. Tim from in fourth, Gert van Verven in second place. Well, an absolute flyer for Bax. There's Tim Prumer in third. Leal Bardis boys with their blue helmets this time in about sixth place. Third, fourth, fifth place for Leal Bardis. Davy Sanders there in fourth. Another good start by the Belgian. Tim Prumer, Rodolf Le Breton certainly get that husky off the line but not as well as Etienne Bats got his husky off the line I'm looking for the Prunier boys they are well back I saw the yellow shirts go through and already Etienne Bax is building a lead from Gert van Verven Gert van Verven Ivor van der Veel in second place here ahead of Tim Prumer and Rodolphe Le Breton this is a carbon copy of the opening start for Etienne Bax Etienne and Robbie Bax Golly, they get that thing off the line. From a man who, a couple of seasons ago, was a bit sluggish off the line, he has certainly got his starts sorted out. These guys are playing follow the leader here a little bit, using the same ruts, and Gert van Verven is dictating the speed. Marvin van Lukener has got the opportunity here to close the gap. Oh no! That's Daniel and Bruno Neil Barnes. They've capsized it. They are over. That is a catastrophe for the Latvians. It's all gone wrong here. The marshal, goodness me, the marshal fell, nearly got run over. That was a tough call. What? What is a marshal doing racing across the track like that? Marvin van Lukener and Glenn Janssens in second place now, 12 seconds down on Etienne Bax. What a spectacular turn of events here in Lommel. Gert van Verven then, with Tim Prumer. Gert van Verven, Ivan van der Veel, Tim Prumer, Rodolf Le Breton, the German-French pairing. Sensational, sensational stuff. Etienne Bax, meanwhile, with that 12-second lead. And Marvin van Lukener, possibly, possibly, and I can't see the lap times, has enough speed to close the race leader down. But Van Lukener at the moment is in a 22 point position and I have not yet got a position for the Lille Bardis boys when they go over the line. Yes I have. They are one lap down in 13th place behind Benny Weiss and Patrick Schneider. That will be enough for the red plate to be handed back to Marvin Van Lukener if things stay the way they are. No sign on the screen yet of Kuhn Hermans, but I can tell you they're in third place. Kuhn Hermans and Ben van den Bogart. Well, that's not quite true because we are watching what's going on here. Gert van Verven still riding really, really well. Van Verven in second. And Lukana alongside Tim Prumer and on the outside of Tim Prumer. And can he make a move? Is there a line there? Tim Prumer has got the defending champion who's on fire at the moment, breathing down his neck. Need to find where Kuhn Hermans is. Kuhn Hermans not featuring on our timing screen at the moment. So what the dickens happened? to Kern Hoeman, Kuhn Hermans, come on from the Belgian crowds here, he knows the importance of this race, getting filled in with sand but careful with his tear offs, he's going well here, he's on the inside and he's gone through, on the inside of Gert van Verven, van Verven drops to third, van Lukener up to second, now he's got clear track between himself and the race leader, Etienne Bax, is it game on, is it game on, I wonder. Lil Bardis on the back of Frank Mulders trying desperately to make up ground so the red plate holders are gaining positions with every turn of the wheel but now they've come up behind Davy Sanders and they're alongside and they're behind Davy Sanders 
So they are really, really making up ground here. The young Latvians, the 17-year-old identical twins with the red plate firmly emblazoned, covered in sand. You can't see it. You can see the one on the side. And in front of them, they have a much, much tougher adversary in the shape of Kuhn Hermans and Ben Vanden Bogart. This one is about to fall victim to Etienne Bax, who goes round the outside in the deep stuff, and that nearly gave Marvin van Luken the opportunity he wanted. Bax didn't want to choose that line, but he had no alternative. Van Luken is alongside, and van Luken is passed and moves into the lead. Marvin van Luken and Glenn Janssen in front now with Etienne Bax fighting back. What an amazing, amazing race we're seeing here. 25 points at the moment sit and I think the red plate sits it does the red plate will go to Marvin van Lukener if things stay the way they do I'm terrified to look at my timing screen because I really don't know I think the Leobardis boys problem this time was terminal I'm not seeing them on the captions at the bottom, Stefan Wires, Han van Hull in 10th, Eben and Mas in 11th. Well, we've got Van Verven showing in 6th place. I don't know what's happening to my timing screen. Leal Bardis is in 7th. So that will enhance the advantage. So Gert van Verven has stolen a march on Daniel and Bruno Leal Bardis and has reclaimed a place. It's happening so quickly, I can't see, I can't keep up with it. No doubting what's happening here though. Race leader, Marvin van Lukena with Glenn Janssens jumped in for this season to help the champ reclaim his title and he's done an admirable job. Etienne and Robbie Bax still there hanging on, they're on their final lap. The Bax brothers, first and second. But what a result and this will mean overall victory in the GP for Marvin van Lukener on home ground checkered flag it is for Marvin van Lukener job done what can I say Glenn Janssen's absolutely delighted yeah still can't believe on Saturday everything goes wrong and uh, okay the the feeling on the track was pretty good but you know, here from the uh, second row, starting is yeah, for sure not so easy, but we fight so hard and, uh, yeah, everything comes together to, uh, today and, uh, yeah, it's crazy. We can take the, the win on the second race and the overall win at the home GP. So much people here, good weather, good atmosphere. So uh, I think uh, at the end, perfect weekend.